Well, I hope this works. Click, click, allow. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, if you're like me, you're having the same problem. And the problem is you're using DaVinci Resolve 16 and you're trying to play your audio. So you hit play and you're getting nothing. Nothing's happening. So I'm going to try to go through this and see exactly what could be the problem. Now, there are a multitude of things that could be the issue. And the reason why I say this is because there's a multitude of videos of people having the same issues and different fixes. So I'm going to go through every possible fix that I did, and then I'll let you know the one that worked for me. There is a chance I could be too loud on the mic. I don't know how to adjust the levels or whatnot. And I, you can see me bumbling around to figure this out. I'm trying to go through it as fast as possible without wasting any of your time. And there's a chance that I can also fix the audio while I'm doing this. But I still will tell you how it fixed for me. So here we go. Like you saw, I hit play, nothing happens. Uh, probably the easiest thing you can do to look at is to make sure that your mute isn't on. Um, if that's on muted, then you're not going to get a sound. Three, two, one. What the heck is bothering me? Okay, so that worked out of the jump, okay? But that wasn't what fixed it for me. Another issue that you can run into is this right here. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, dim, it looks like a light type of thing or something. It has nothing to do with that. I guess it's like a way to mute it if I was watching a video in here and using the feature that allows me to watch the video that I'm doing a voiceover for or syncing things together, whatever. You're making sure that this isn't turned down because that can affect it as well or if it's actually what, I don't know. Check that, click that, see what happens. Um, the other thing that you can look at is you're checking here, right here where it says DaVinci Resolve, and you go to Preferences. I think everyone's kind of seen this for the most part. And it says Video and Audio, right? So you click the tab for Video and Audio, and this is one of the things that helped me fix it. So this is heading in the right direction. A lot of times, you're going to have it set on your system setting, and then you'll have the device here. and You can't change that device, okay? So what you do is you change it to Manual, then you switch it to near and near i don't know what that means i don't know what any of this means i just know i was clicking around i also saw videos but this is something i got from another video you click near and a lot of times no matter what i had put it on it automatically puts it back to the speakers that i'm actually using for my setup um you switch this to stereo or not i don't think that matters i didn't touch it um this i believe does this automatically and here's one of the things that worked for me okay one of the two things that worked for me to get it to work from all the videos you've seen and i have not seen someone do this is i clicked this to studio matter of fact i think i might have saw one video where the guy talked about but i clicked this to studio it helped i don't know what this does but i clicked this from control room to studio so if you haven't if you've done all this other stuff but you haven't done this do this see what happens Hit save, get out of it. I'm hitting cancel because obviously it's working for me. There's no reason for me to mess around with it. Okay, so then we'll go into the other thing. The other thing that you can do is if you go down to your speaker setting and you right click and then open the sound settings, you can also do the same thing by typing here what you're looking for in the settings. You can also go into your windows, into settings, and you'll get this right here of where you're at. So anywho, when you get to sound, okay, what I did was I went to device property and again, I could bumble around this, but I'm trying to look for what it is. Okay. So this is one of the things I've seen videos where you'll click your speaker property and you'll get your levels. And what you're looking for is advanced. You're looking for it to be from what I'm seeing is 16 bit, 4,800, um, 48,000 hertz DVD quality is from what I've seen all the videos put. So you're you're looking to do this. You'll hit apply. You'll hit okay. It's going to give you a warning, and the warning is like 
you need to restart DaVinci or there's projects you're using, close DaVinci and restart it. Please note that when you close DaVinci, you've got to wait a few seconds. That's why you're double clicking and it's not responding. It's got to, it takes a little bit for task manager and everything in the background closes up shop. So that's one of the things you can do. The other thing, and it kind of goes with what I just did, is if you click the uh, file that's not playing sound, I don't know what any of this does, I apologize. I clicked this, right? Because I saw it in a video, I believe someone mentioned it as well. I use this as well when it's not acting right. And I make sure that this right here is the exact same thing you just saw me do in the, um, the properties. Because you're trying to make sure that from the jump, what most of us do is we put the settings from the beginning, but I don't know if it's a glitch, bug, error, or whatever that doesn't allow you to do this. So I do that. This right here that I'm about to show you is what worked for me. As soon as I did this, it worked and it connected to something else, right? So what I did was, same thing, right click, go to sound settings or the previous ways I showed you. And I scrolled down, I'm telling you, I clicked everything whether it was troubleshooting because you can see that your mic is working you can even hear it on davinci resolve but for some reason you cannot hear the audio even if it just whatever so let me get to it so this right here and this is windows 10 i'm running this is the newest patch for windows 10 this right here this advanced sound operation it should be called my life sent unless something else is an issue and pops up later. But for two days, this has worked for me. After I went in here, you click this, and apparently, I guess what's happening is, you're double checking, and I did see in a video where the person mentioned it, you'll double check if you have a, a capture card or a sound card. They don't mention a capture card, but I'm mentioning capture card because this does both. I don't know if it qualifies. Um, they break it up into two separate programs. But it's not necessarily this. This was not my issue. The issue that I had was when I looked at DaVinci Resolve, which I'm running 16 with the brand new patch based off today's date. So a brand new patch for this. Didn't fix the issue. Before the patch, issue wasn't fixed. But you see right here where it says your output? You're trying to make sure that your output is whatever your speaker is. That's pretty obvious but i had no idea that this was hiding in here that it's unfortunate i don't know if it's a windows thing or if it's the davinci resolve itself or the different things we use to make videos and edit or whatever but you see how each one is doing something different right um all i did was put it on whatever i'm using for instance i do have a monitor that does sound if i do that i'm gonna get sound out of the gaming monitor and it's lower quality um but sometimes you might have it on a monitor that doesn't have any audio. Or you might have it on, like right here, I have it on the speaker itself from the um, microphone. So I can hear out of the headset, but I can't hear out of the rest of my sound system. And if I don't have the headset in, then I don't know it's working. But if you just put it on, each one, on whatever your speaker setting is, all right, so everything's on your speaker setting, and then whatever needs to, you know, come off here, come whatever. Once that's finished, it's done. There is no confirm button. I didn't see one. Exit out of here, and I'll go back to the DaVinci Resolve preferences. Right now, remember when I showed you this right here? What I realized is, if you make that change that I just showed you, without you changing system setting, it puts it for this device. Whatever you change this to switches your device. So you'll come in here and you're like, you might even you might not even notice it because it just wasn't working and you're frustrated. But if you looked at it when it was giving you an issue, if this fixes your issue, this was listed as something else. Now, the reason why I changed this to studio was because I saw it in another video. It's already switched it. So I can't tell you if switching this to studio fixed it as well. But what I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, once I switch that and hit save, it was done. It was finished. Like as soon as I hit play, this program is, and I hope this helps. Click, click, allow. It worked perfectly immediately. Now you might have to refresh and go back in. 
But as far as saved work, and this is just my experience, I did not have to redo any work that I did on a project. So I didn't have audio, but I can see the audio moving. It did not, I didn't lose any information on it. So again, I hope this helped you. This channel that I'm trying to work on is not a channel that has to do with tutorials. I'm learning from other people who are teaching me how to use this app. And um, I play video games. And at some point, this will be gaming or something like that. Like, I've got nothing but time on my hands. But I really hoped that this helps your issue, your problem. I really would appreciate a like or sub because maybe I might learn something else and, and show you or... Maybe you play video games as well and something like that, blah, blah, blah. So again, again, I hope this helped you. Sorry if it was long. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I just know it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I've got to put my daughter to sleep. But I have to let you guys know there is a way to fix this, at least in my situation. So appreciate you. Could have been anywhere in the world and you're here. Thank you.